Pomeranians are tiny but mighty. These pint-sized pooches weigh 3 to 7 pounds, making them the smallest of the spits, or Nordic dog breeds, but they have the demeanor of a much more formidable canine. Bright and spunky, palms, as they are often called by admirers of the breed, are whip-smart. Training a Pomeranian is easy because they love to learn new tricks and make their owner happy. But they are also happy to spend time on their own. These pups live to learn tricks and can alternate between wanting to please and being independent, says Pam Nichols, DVM, president of the American Animal Hospital Association. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Appearance. There's much to love about the Pomeranian smiley face. The smallest of the Spitz breeds, weighing in at no more than 7 pounds. Their face is often described as fox-like thanks to a wedge-shaped head and erect ears. Their sweet, almond-shaped eyes are dark and their noses are either dark or the same color as their coat. Temperament. The Pomeranian temperament matches his proud looks. Alert and inquisitive, palms spend their days lively and active, without being hyperactive. They're just gentle little souls and they have this funny sense of humor, Nichols says. Pomeranians are, just funny. They're playful, happy little dogs and they'll just assimilate to whatever you have them do. If you teach them to ride in a purse all day, they will. If you teach them to be a little outdoor fetching dog, they will. They'll do whatever you want them to do. Living needs. If you're older or have a busy schedule, Pomeranians make an ideal pet because they don't need much pampering or fussing. Palms are also an ideal indoor pet, perfect for apartment life or in a home with a small yard, or without a yard at all. They don't take up a lot of space, but are surprisingly hardy, active little pups who enjoy getting out for walks. They especially love to meet new people and furry friends along the way. But do keep an eye on them when outside, as they are escape artists, slipping through cracks or even climbing small fences, and are susceptible to predatory birds because they are so petite. Care. A double coat means double the fun when it comes to grooming your Pomeranian. Their undercoat is soft and dense, while their outer coat is long, straight, and coarse. Luckily, they're so small that the coat is, deceptively, easy to groom and doesn't take too much time. Their ample coat should be brushed a few times a week with a medium to hard brush that can get all the way to their skin. This will help reduce their shedding. They only need to be bathed every couple of months. Make teeth brushing part of your regular routine, too, as Pomeranians are prone to dental health issues. Health. These small but mighty pups are a rather healthy breed. However, as with all dog breeds, there are a few health conditions Pomeranians are susceptible to. Nichols says some palms suffer from thyroid disease and allergies. According to the American Pomeranian Club, they may also develop epilepsy and have seizures. A variety of eye problems, including cataracts, dry eye, and tear duct problems can impact Pomeranians and lead to blindness if untreated. You'll also want to watch for hip dysplasia and luxating patellas, which can impede their ability to move around. As with many toy breeds, leg Perth's disease may be an issue that affects their hip joints. History. Believe it or not, Pomeranians trace their heritage back to large Arctic sled dogs. They are named for Pomerania, an area in northeastern Europe that is now part of Poland and western Germany, 
where they were bred as a miniature version of the larger, brawny dogs, such as Norwegian Elk Hound, the Skipperke, the German Spitz, the American Eskimo, and the Samoyed. In the late 1800s, Queen Victoria of England became smitten with the breed on a trip to Florence, Italy, and returned to Britain with several palms. Thanks to her adoration for the breed, Pomeranians quickly gained popularity. According to the American Pomeranian Club, Queen Victoria was a serious breeder, credited today with reducing them from about 20 to 30 pounds to their current miniature size. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.